Hello everyone, welcome back to The Divine Speaker. If you're interested in playing the game yourself, the links are in the description. Uh, I'm just gonna jump in. I'm not prepared. Let's go. Oh, uh, I'm sleepy. I'm very sorry. <clears throat> it's been a week. It's been a week. It's end of month. It's been a week. <laughs> TM. Sime looked up at the man, taking in every inch of his face. Sure, he was older and a little more rugged, but he had the same look in his eye. The same feel. <laughs> You feel just like rain. Also, if my keyboard is loud, I'm sorry, I got a new keyboard and it's very clacky. Pardon? I might just use my mouse. <laughs> so, yeah, hello, mouse. <laughs> it's here to stay. Forget it. I'm fine. I just <sighs> recalled a bad memory. Okay. Mm. Well, maybe we could lend each other an ear for a little while. It's the same amount of clackiness. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> I didn't think this through. <laughs> Has been pulled up a chair, sat down and faced sign. Go on. Tell me what's wrong. I might just be able to lend a word of advice. Are you sure with the kind of relationship you have with your speaker? <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know where to start. At the beginning. He even says the same thing, says Rain. I'll give it to you in short and not waste your time then. I'm just a tool for my family. A bargaining chip. Nothing I've ever done has been good enough. All around me, I've seen backstabbing, lying, cheating, and it's all expected. But you're not meant to talk about it. Oh no. And I think... I think that if loving someone means you have to sit around waiting to be betrayed, why bother? Uh. <sighs> no voice acting is so good. Well, I'm not sure what I was expecting you to say, but that wasn't it. <laughs> you remind me of Emil, you know? What? How? I don't know how much you know about him, but... He was taken from his family at birth and brought up beside me. He hated it. He was forced into a role he despised with no way out. I never noticed, you know. I was too caught up inside my own head, filled with a desire for adventure. Everything was always me, me, me. I messed it up. But that's a whole other problem. So, how is that supposed to help me? He had no outlet. He bottled everything up until it exploded and by then the damage was already done the difference is that you have a chance to speak up to change things to fix everything before it's broken part of love is putting yourself out there to be hurt it might be painful and it might lead to heartbreak but you know what it's worth the risk don't let yourself regret not taking the leap when it's too late <sighs> Come on, sign. Anyway, I've said my piece. Think about it. Oh, and if you see Rain, can you, uh, point him in my direction? Caspian stood and made for the door. Before he could leave, sign called out to him. It's not too late for you. <laughs> he know. He's like, bitch, take your own advice. What? He still has a thing for you. <sighs> You think so? <laughs> I know so. With a smile that reminded him so much of Rain, Caspian left the room. It, it's just, it is similar. <laughs> I guess anyone would be able to tell. He's been acting strange lately. Oh, Lord. We're having talks. Strange? More talks. <laughs> We've been having talks. It's just... A lot of talking. <laughs> it's good though, I like it. Well, distant. He's been avoiding me. And I've been feeling strange about him too. Young love really is sweet, isn't it? Do you really think that's what this is? I do. A feeling of ease washed over me, a sense of validation. Oh yeah, I do love him, don't I? Ah! Then, 
Why is he acting like that? Because he's scared. Love doesn't come easily for some people. You trust him, don't you? Oh, yeah. I do. <laughs> God, why is this voice acting so good? <laughs> she smiled and it lit up her entire face. All will be well then. It might require a little push, but I know you can work it out. Sit him down and talk it over properly. Uh. Caspian. Come over here. Don't stand there gawping. Caspian approached us, awkwardly looking away. Gawping. Sorry, I got distracted by gawping. And I'm like, is that how you say it? <laughs> I never thought I'd see the two of you side by side, you know. <sighs> Me either. I'm suddenly feeling awfully tired. Uh, then I should. It's a nice night for a walk, Rain. Enjoy it. As she left, my eyes turned to Caspian. Uh, sorry, I, I didn't want to interrupt. Do you have some free time? Well, I'm not exactly busy. Did you need something? Uh, no, uh, nothing in particular. I just thought we could, I don't know, talk for a bit. About what? <laughs> you know, just you know, stuff. stuff. <laughs> so awkward. Oh lord. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just be straight up with Rain. Rain is just like, yeah, be blunt. <laughs> yeah, be like, uh, how do you say this? Straightforward with him. Just like say what you mean. I feel like I've missed such a big part of your life, and I know I can't fix that instantly, but <sighs> I'd like a chance to try. I nodded to him and we walked slowly through the village side by side. I wanted to get to know him. I didn't blame him for what happened, but I still found it strange to think of him as my father. Uh, tell me about you. You were raised in an orphanage? Yeah, for all of my life. The matron found me on her doorstep when I was a baby. I suppose that was right after you. Um, and uh, what of this matron? Was she kind to you? The kindest. I'll always think of Arala as a mother to me. I... really miss her. Arala? Do you know her? Gods, what a small world this is. She raised me too. Did she know, like as Rain was growing up, she's like, Oh dear lord, it is the prince's son. <laughs> yeah, or he's just like, oh, he looks like the prince, how wonderful. <laughs> Wait, what? How? You were raised in an orphanage? Uh, no, no, of course not. She was more like uh, my tutor. But it was always more than that. I, I saw her more than my actual parents. Grandmama. Grandparents. I'll never get to know them. But how did she go from being a royal tutor to running an orphanage? It doesn't make any sense. Um... I told you about how Emil and I snuck out, didn't I? Well, she got all the blame for that. It's something I regret more than anything else. She was punished because of me. By the time we found our way back to Aurelia Cavella, she'd been thrown out of the royal family. I never saw her again after that. I didn't even know if she was alive or not. She would have known who I really was. Don't be mad at her. She must have been trying to keep you safe. I could never be mad at her. I want to thank her. She let me grow up normally. That's more of a blessing than you realize. Can I ask you a question too? Anytime. What was my mother like? <sighs> he sighed and abruptly stopped walking. She was my comfort and a dear friend. Just a friend? It's a long, complicated story. My feelings and emotions were all muddled up. And at the time, I didn't even understand what love really was. But I was heartbroken. Even if I didn't know the word back then. <laughs> she was kind, caring, and understood what I was going through. We supported each other, and I enjoyed her company. <laughs> uh, she needed help, 
she was sick and wanted to run away from her family. And I was alone and desperately wanted someone to lean on. Neither of us were in love, but I did love her very much. It's a meal then. It's a thing of the past, but once upon a time, I would have called him the one. You still can. I yawned and the sadness wiped away from Caspian's face. Go on, get some sleep. I'm sorry for keeping you. But before I go, it was Soren that pointed me to you. Soren? He spoke of you so highly. He misses you very much. I always wanted to go back and find him, but after what happened... I heard about it. Right now, he's unconscious, with a chance of never waking up. If... <laughs> no. When he does, I want you to be there with me. Of course. Good. Then I better head to bed. Good night. As I turned around, I heard Caspian shuffling behind me. Rain? Thank you. You too. Yeah. When Caspian left, I found myself lingering outside of Sign's room. He was only one door away, so close that I could almost feel him. But he also felt so out of reach. Uh, oh! Sign! Uh, hey! What are you doing up so late? He's trying so hard to be casual. <laughs> I bumped into Cass... No. My father. So he found you after all. Behind me, the door locked with a click. I'm not going to run away. Is it finally happening? I wanted to talk to you, too. You, deb you debated me twice. You can't be doing this to me another time. I'm... I'm so so... I'm sorry. Wait, what? What for? I'm sorry that I kept secrets from you. I'm sorry that I dragged you into so much mess. I'm sorry for a lot of things. I make so many mistakes, and I end up depending on the people around me too much. Oh, no. But... I'm not sorry about being in love with you. I won't ever apologize for that. <sighs> Rain. What can I do to fix things? <laughs> Rain. You're the only person in the world who would apologize when you did nothing wrong. That's just so you. It's my fault. I pushed you away. I was scared. My breath caught in my throat as his lips found mine, gently, slowly, as if he still wasn't sure what he was doing. <sighs> I leant down towards him and pulled him in close. Time seemed to have stopped. In fact, I hoped it had. Ah! <laughs> All my senses were surrounded by him, his smell, his taste, the feel of his lips on mine. Slowly, he pulled away and touched his forehead to mine. <laughs> This is all your fault, you know. Mm. Uh, what is? All of this. Because of you, I can't even look at anyone else. It feels wrong. You ruined it for me. <laughs> I'm sorry. Shut up. Didn't you just say you wouldn't be sorry? My eyes searched his face, desperate to understand what exactly what he was thinking. Of course, my eyes wandered down to his lips once or twice, too. <laughs> he pulled me back into the kiss, much more heated than before. His tongue ran across my lips before he pulled back yet again. You better take responsibility. Oh. Oh. My heart hammered in my chest. <laughs> Hard and loud, but nothing could stop me now. We crashed back into each other, stumbling through the room and falling back hard onto the bed. Sion's body was below mine, and our chests pressed hard against each other. He broke the kiss, staring up at me with big green eyes. I think I'm in love with you. Ah! You have a love! <coughs> oh god, I'm not prepared! Okay, okay. He's smiling. Ah. With his hands around... <laughs> Sorry, I'm excited. <laughs> with his hands wound around my neck, he smiled at me. Clumsy, messily, not at all like his usual smile. A genuine, heartwarming smile. <sighs> I felt a warmth spread 
throughout my entire body and couldn't help myself smiling in response. He feels the same about me too. I wasn't wrong to feel this way. Oh. Sign pulled me by the nape of my neck back into the kiss, further pressing our bodies together. The leisurely, tender kiss quickly devolved into something more. More obscene, something tender and full of passion. More obscene? obscene? Oh, did I read that right? I think I did. Everything about him consumed me. His breath became hotter against mine and mine against his. Sign. With pleading eyes, I stared down at him. He nodded in response and I carefully started to peel away his layers of clothing. Uh, wait. wait. Wait, wait, what? Rain. Uh, here. Oh, oh, oh. He pulled a bottle out of his pocket before handing it over to me. A bottle I'd seen quite a few times already. Really? Always prepared. Really? <laughs> <laughs> I told you, didn't I? You never know when it could come in handy. <laughs> the room was cold and frosty, made only of simple wood. It was nothing like the warm, insulated walls of Sid Kaim. And yet here was Sign, allowing himself to be undressed by me. Sorry, the music just wah. <laughs> Slowly, sensationally, as if just the act of undressing him was turning him on even more. With the tips of my fingers, I tipped his chin up and left small pecks on his neck down to his chest. Every nimble left his skin red and I found that awfully addictive. Addict- addictive? Yeah. In return, he pulled at my clothes, desperate to undress me. I could already feel him hardening against me. Rain. We're gonna see how how far we can go before before pa patron patrons are the only ones that can see this. The last bit of clothing fell to the ground, and his smooth um and his smooth, delicious skin, which was marked by my kisses, was finally on display. You're. Oh my God, you're so beautiful. He was gorgeous, almost glowing in the cool, cool moonlight. I couldn't bear to keep my mouth off of him for another moment. <sighs> You've really come a long way. <laughs> it's all thanks to you. <sighs> Should you really sound that happy about being corrupted by me? <laughs> the faces! <laughs> I'd happily be corrupted by you any day. <sighs> Gods, is this the kind of mushy crap I have to put up with from now on? <laughs> you like it, you know you Maybe like I'm it. Maybe I'm reconsidering this relationship after <laughs> all. <laughs> hey! <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I... I really like you, Sign. His face reddened even further as he squeezed my hands gently. I... I like you too. <laughs> but come on, get off of me. Look at the mess you've made. I can still feel it oozing out of... He's doing that on purpose, please lord. Okay, okay, <laughs> I get the picture, fine. I pulled away from him, I instantly found myself filled with a longing to not let him go, but it pushed out of my mind. Just seeing him, knowing that he's mine, that was enough. Wow! Yeah! <laughs> Alright, I just not go in, act natural, and be casual about it. No big deal, right? <laughs> Ilran pays to back and forth outside of Varys' door, uncharacteristically. If it were anyone else, he would have just barged in, but something was making him feel nervous. He tried to push that something out of his mind, but he knew all too well what it was. Elrond, you'll wake everyone up if you keep pacing around like that. The door swung open and Varys stood in the doorway. I'm not pacing. I, I'm just... just thinking. Mm -hmm. While stomping back and forth outside of my door, why don't you come in? Inviting me inside in the middle of the night? My, how shameless. <laughs> what will people say? <laughs> we spend most nights together, Ilron. People can say whatever they wish. It doesn't bother me. He pushed the door open further and Ilron followed in behind him. Oh 
hold on. <clears throat> wow. <laughs> the last scene just took me out. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> the room was remarkably sm similar to his own, to Oran's surprise. Varys sat down at the edge of the bed. He smiled calmly, happy to see, uh, happy to be in Elrond's presence. Did you need to ask me something? Well, nothing in particular. I just thought we could chat for a little while. I was wondering how long you've known Elliot for. I've never heard you mention him. A couple of hundred years or so. We met in Sidkeum a while after he ascended and subsequently took a mortal body. He was the only other god I'd ever met, so... We became fast friends. <clears throat> I'm happy to see him alive. He disappeared and I thought... This seems like a nice enough place. No wonder he came here. <laughs> yes, it seems nice enough. Peaceful too. <clears throat> oh my god. A nice, simple village life could be refreshing. Sure, it's not quite as adrenaline pumping as bounty hunting, <laughs> but it's an honest living. <clears throat> I was just thinking. It's been so long since you last saw Elliot, and I'm sure there's plenty of other friendly gods in the village too. You, you could, you know, live here, stay safe, be surrounded by your own kind. Oh my God. I would cry. <laughs> Why does this ma game make me want to cry so much? Ilron. He just wants him to live. Your parents were farmers, right? You could take up the trade. There's no need to... to move on. When you could just stay here. <sighs> the smile had fallen from Varys' face long ago. Perhaps... I could even visit. You know? Or you could visit me? Uh, <laughs> oh my god! Ilron, please listen to me. Oh my god, 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 what's happening? What's gonna happen? This go either way. <laughs> Not this music, too. Oh. Every day since we met has been a blessing. Is he proposing? Even if it meant going through all the hardships in the years before that. I would do it all again. I mean, look at this. It looks like he's proposing! <laughs> I can't. If he ends up dying, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Sorry, I have tears in my eyes. Don't do this. <laughs> I'm the luckiest person in the world to have someone by my side that makes it hurt so badly to say goodbye. Don't you see? We can keep going like that. It doesn't have to end. No. <laughs> it can't last forever. Oh my god. Why not? <sighs> Even when I'm an old man on my deathbed, I want you by my side. An old man on his oh deathbed, God. and next to him, someone that will have to grieve forever. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Sorry, excuse me, I gotta leave. <laughs> oh. Then I'll tear the world apart. Make everyone hate me so badly that whoever the fuck is sitting up there in the sky making decisions lets me become like you. <laughs> Why won't you listen? You'd, you'd be comfortable here. Happy. <sighs> if not here, then in Sid Kaim with me. If you're sick of bounty hunting, we'll stop. He'll run. <laughs> what can I say that will convince you? He'll run. <gasps> will you kiss me? <gasps> Up, you fool. What? Do it. Will you kiss me? Do it. Ah! <laughs> yes. <laughs> this is too much for my heart. I'm crying. <laughs> Ilran didn't wait to be asked again. Their first kiss, their last kiss. No. Oh my god, I hate that. <laughs> His green hair cascaded around him as he leant down and kissed Varys. Their first kiss. Elrond had imagined it for years, but never expected it act to actually happen. He was happy. <laughs> he was happy enough by his side, watching on. It felt even better than he could have. Uh, uh, it felt even better than he ever could have thought. 
With her hands still connecting ever so gently, Elrond held on to the person who meant most to him. The person he'd give up anything for. It was delicate and sweet, mixed with passion and longing. The moonlight drifted in the window, illuminated their fi- <laughs> <clears throat> The moonlight drifting in the window illuminated their figures, outlining them in a cool light. Ferris reached up and ran his fingertips down at Elrond's chest. Elrond shivered in response. He stroked Varys' face gently and couldn't shake off the feeling that this was all a dream, that Varys could disappear as soon as he opened his eyes. Just then... <laughs> oh god. <laughs> they blush! They blush! What is it? The two jumped apart, their hearts, their hearts, their hearts, <laughs> their hearts pounding harder than ever before. Elrond rubbed the back of his, the back of his head and looked away, awkwardly trying to find something to say. God, please, I can't escape this anymore. I, I. You what? What is this? What is this? <clears throat> It's about a. About, we're gonna stop here, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you'd like to play this game yourself, links are in the description. Holy shit! <laughs> That's so good. I'm gonna cry. Oh no! I hope. I hope. I hope everything ends well with them. And if not, I'm gonna like be utterly destroyed. <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> Play this game. Support this game. Tell your friends. Um, if you wanted to see that cut content, uh, check out my Patreon. Please note that my Patreon Patreon is 18+. plus. Alright, cool, cool. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe. We always would love to have you here, especially with that goal so f close yet so far. <laughs> Let me tell y'all when a video is going to be late or when this other stuff happens with those 500 subs is a goal. Come on, let's go. We can do it. And then I'm going to stop bothering you about subscribing. <laughs> I'll see you next time.